I'm just going to dress up the end of this stem where it's going to be visible inside the boat so it doesn't look like we just chopped it off randomly. And that's going to be a quick, um, quick rub with the belt sander, I think. So we're spreading epoxy on the mating face of the inner stem where it's going to fasten onto the keelson. And after squirting it out of the caulking gun, I'm just spreading it to make sure there's glue on the surface, the entire surface. And the ideal amount is just enough that you get a little squeeze out so you're sure you've got glue in the joint. But not so much that you're spreading five dollars of epoxy on the floor. So I'm going to give it one more little bead down the center line, which makes me sleep better at night. And now we'll clamp that in place. So I'm going to, you keep yours in the air, please, till I find station seven. Okay, now you can go home in your socket. That's it. You can clamp that home. I know just from having been here before that if I clamp this down and clamp and tighten that glue joint, when I let go, this wants to spring up and it's going to try to lift the stem out of its socket here. So I'm going to slip an angle bracket in, in place of a clamp. This is an awkward spot to try to clamp, but I can put an angle bracket here and you see how I've just bent it so it fits the um, angle we're involved in. And I'm going to shoot it right into the beast here. So we'll get it fastened here. Then we'll fasten it to the mold right down there. And that gives us a chance of it not lifting out of place. Now we're going to set this clamp and set the Kielsen on mold number six nice and tight. Then we'll take one of these long bar clamps. Dustin, I'm going to have you hook that here on top of the keelson and you'll bring it right down. I've got our stem held with my thumb so that the center line on the stem matches the center line on the keelson. How far well, do I take this? It looks to me like you're there. Perfect. Good. Yep, that's bang on, and that's plenty of pressure. Keep pulling out. And using a screw in this case, this is a temporary steel screw, will let us pull this clamp out of our way for cleaning up the epoxy. And once you get a screw in place, it's not going to slip like a clamp could if we knock into it. So now we're free to reach under there with a putty knife and knife out the excess epoxy for a nice cleanup because if you learn nothing else before you build one of these boats, you always want to clean up the epoxy while it's wet and soft. Because once it cures, you've got to get out the machinery and the tools and the explosives. To... There was the perfect amount of glue left behind, even if I did waste a blob that 
I can actually put on the next piece. This is gonna be plenty. Now we are mounting the forward inner stem. Basically the same process we just did on the back of the boat. Clamping it in place on the forward cross member. I've got station one aligned on station one on the mold. And I'll set this bar clamp. Let's try one on this side. Like so I'll just balance this out. There, I'm just trying to keep the keelson from getting twisted. There, now it's centered. Great. Just give that a good squeeze, I want to see. Yeah, that's it, right there. That's just about how many electrons were left today. Dustin is wiping down with a rag with denatured alcohol that cleans up the residual epoxy and makes future sanding easier. This is our leftover squeeze out. And just for my peace of mind, I like to leave a sample of whatever batch of epoxy I've just used. Um, and in the morning, I'll casually walk over and poke that with my thumbnail and I'll feel a lot better that the epoxy's cured and I can remove clamps and um, screws. Of course, the stuff is reliable, but it's cold and you just never know. I'm now going to put angle brackets at each mold, tying the keelson down, and work my way up to the stem where I've got the magic one that fits the stem angle, and tie it down as well again so all these clamps can come off tomorrow morning and we can bevel in preparation for planking. The outer stems that we gang glued up with the inners have been cleaned up and have been put aside and we've simply clamped them back to the form to let them store happily until we're ready to mount them on the boat after planking.